Wood is the second most vital element needed for life. In fact, where there's no water, you don't usually get people living, do you? That was Barbara O'Neill, a health educator and nutritionist with a passion for helping people achieve optimal wellness through natural and holistic approaches. Today, we're focusing on an important health issue that affects millions of people worldwide, high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. Barbara will explain why drinking water is so critical and how it can impact high blood pressure. Hypertension, often termed the silent killer, can progress unnoticed for years, significantly raising the risk of severe health complications, including heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. Comprehending the causes of hypertension is essential for effective prevention and management. In this video, we'll explore the causes and risk factors of hypertension and, most importantly, a natural solution to help you maintain healthy blood pressure levels that you can incorporate into your daily life. So, if you're looking to take control of your blood pressure naturally, you're in the right place. Let's start this journey to better heart health together. We have an amazing bonus at the end, so stay tuned. Let's listen to Barbara explain more about the importance of water to our health. I always say to people, how much water do you drink? And these are some of the answers. Uh, I don't like water. Um, if I drink water, my feet swell. If I drink water, I'm going to the bathroom all day. Those last two answers tell me that the water's not getting inside the cell. Barbara will now explain more about water and how it gets into the cell. So how do we get the water inside the cell? We have to go to the third most vital element needed for life, and that is sodium. The fourth most vital element needed for life is potassium. So let's go back to sodium. In nature, we find the highest amount of sodium in seawater. And seawater contains 92 minerals. Of those 92 minerals, 30%, approximately 30% is sodium. And of those 92 minerals, approximately 50% is chloride. Now, because sodium chloride take up the most amount, they're the first crystals formed when the water is evaporated. Where does table salt come from? So what man does is he scoops up the first crystals formed, he bleaches them white, puts aluminium with it so that it runs freely, and there's your table salt. Table salt is a dangerous... is a dangerous salt because we now have two very harsh minerals that if you were in to inject both of those into the blood, you would die. Can we get rid of or balance these harsh minerals? There's two harsh minerals and they need all the other 90 to soften them and balance them. The highest concentration of mineral inside the cell is potassium. The highest concentration outside the cell is sodium. And in this bilayered membrane that is around every cell, there are sodium-potassium pumps. And these sodium-potassium pumps are ever going like this, maintaining the balance between potassium and sodium. But when someone's not eating enough fruits and vegetables, and that's where you get most of your potassium, and they're putting table salt on everything far too much, what happens now is sodium levels rise and potassium levels drop. There is a small amount of sodium in the cell, but when this happens, you see osmosis and diffusion happens when the highest concentration merges into the lowest. So now sodium levels inside the cell are rising, which they should not, and the cell swells. What's that called? High blood pressure. The doctor is right. Table salt will, will contribute to high blood pressure. Is there a natural alternative to table salt? There's a French doctor named Dr. Lelangri, and he's written a whole book on salt. He said, when people come to me with high blood pressure, I put them on Celtic salt. Why does he put them on Celtic salt? 
because Celtic salt contains 82 minerals. It's a hand harvested sea salt. So the minerals are in the Celtic salt in their balanced form. What about Himalayan salt? In many places, Himal Himalayan salt is a lot easy to get. There's 70, about 75 minerals. So it's pretty good. But I prefer the Celtic salt. And one reason is that the Celtic salt has three magnesiums. It contains magnesium chloride and magne magnesium bromide and magnesium sulfate. Magnesium is a water hungry molecule and this explains why the Celtic salt is such a moist salt, especially when we've had a lot of rain, because those three magnesiums absorb the moisture. And because magnesium is a water hungry molecule, it can be used to help the water get into the cell. How do we apply the Celtic salt? So when you take a crystal of Celtic salt, put it on your tongue, and some say, how big's a crystal? Well, if you've got high blood pressure, start small, about the size of a sesame seed. I don't have high blood pressure, so I might have about three times little sesame seeds. Put it on your tongue, your mucous membranes start absorbing the minerals, the magnesium is taken to the cell membrane and you drink your water and that magnesium pulls that water inside the cell. It's the quickest way to hydrate a body. The only time excess water drinking can be dangerous is if people drink too much at once and don't have the minerals that are in the Celtic salt to pull that water inside the cell. I've had people complain to me, they say, I'm drinking more water now and now I'm going to the bathroom all day. So I say, are you, are you having the salt? Have a little crystal be before every glass of water. Wakami is considered one of the healthiest foods in the world due to its nutrient-dense profile and numerous health benefits. Dried wakame, a nutrient-rich seaweed, can easily be transformed into a versatile and healthy salt substitute using a coffee grinder. This simple process not only enhances the flavor of your dishes, but also provides numerous health benefits. Here's how to do it and why you should consider incorporating wakame powder into your diet. Step-by-step -step guide to making wakame powder. 1. Acquire dried wakame. Purchase high-quality dried wakame from a trusted source. Ensure it is clean and free from any added preservatives or artificial ingredients. To prepare the coffee grinder, ensure your coffee grinder is clean and dry. Any residual coffee or other substances might alter the flavor of the wakame powder. 3. Grind the wakame. Place the dried wakame into the coffee grinder. Depending on the size of your grinder, you might need to do this in batches. Grind the wakame until it reaches a fine, powdery consistency. For it, store the powder, transfer the wakame powder into an airtight container to maintain its freshness and potency. Store it in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight. Using wakame powder as a salt substitute. Wakame powder can be used in various culinary applications as a substitute for salt. Here are some ideas. 1. Seasoning. Sprinkle wakame powder over salads, soups, and stews for a subtle umami flavor. 2. Cooking. Add it to rice, pasta, or stir-fried dishes to enhance the taste without the need for extra salt. 3. Marinades and dressings. Mix wakame powder into marinades and salad dressings for a nutrient boost and savory taste. Health Benefits of Wakame Powder 1. Rich in nutrients, wakame is a powerhouse of minerals, including iodine, calcium, magnesium, and vitamins A, C, E, and K. These nutrients are essential for maintaining overall health. To support thyroid health, the high iodine content in wakame is crucial for thyroid function, which regulates metabolism and energy. 3. Antioxidant properties, wakame contains antioxidants that help combat oxidative stress and inflammation, promoting better health and potentially reducing the risk of chronic diseases. For low in sodium, unlike traditional salt, wakame powder is low in sodium, 
making it an excellent choice for those looking to reduce their salt intake and manage blood pressure levels. 5. Supports bone health, the calcium and magnesium in wakame contribute to strong bones and teeth, helping to prevent osteoporosis and other bone-related conditions. 6. Weight management, wakame is low in calories and high in fiber, which can aid in weight management by promoting a feeling of fullness and reducing overall calorie intake. 7. Improves skin health, the vitamins and minerals in wakame can enhance skin health, promoting a clear, radiant complexion and potentially slowing down the aging process. Transforming dried wakame into a powder using a coffee grinder is an easy and effective way to incorporate this nutrient-dense seaweed into your diet. As a healthy salt substitute, wakame powder not only enhances the flavor of your meals, but also offers a myriad of health benefits. By making this simple switch, you can support your overall well-being while enjoying delicious, savory dishes. Wakame is particularly beneficial for heart health and managing blood pressure due to several key factors. It is naturally low in sodium, making it a healthier alternative to traditional salt and helping to manage blood pressure levels. Rich in omega-3 fatty acids, wakame reduces inflammation, lowers triglyceride levels, and decreases the risk of arrhythmias. Additionally, its high magnesium content helps regulate blood pressure, maintain a steady heart rhythm, and support cardiovascular function. Wakame is also a good source of potassium, which balances sodium levels and aids in blood pressure regulation. The antioxidants in wakame, such as fucoxanthin, reduce stress and inflammation, protecting heart and blood vessels from damage. Its dietary fiber lowers cholesterol levels by preventing absorption into bloodstream, reducing risk of atherosclerosis and heart disease. By incorporating wakame into your diet, you can benefit from its low sodium content, heart-protective omega-3 south, essential minerals like magnesium and potassium, its antioxidant and fiber properties, all of which contribute to better heart and blood pressure management. Now back to Barbara, how much water should we be drinking? And ideally, we should be having approximately eight glasses of water a day. And then I say to them, and don't drink a whole glass at once. <laughs> I think I mentioned earlier, I drink half a glass as soon as I get up. I go to the bathroom, I drink another half glass. Then I get dressed and have another half glass. But when I start every glass, I have that little bit of salt. So you spread the water over the day. And many people have said to me, thank you so much, that, that has made a big difference. See, huge water in, it's not long before huge water has to come out. Remember, your health is the lock, and we're here to provide the keys. Keep turning to Key Health for insights that unlock your full potential. The key to lifelong vitality is in your hands, it's just one bite away.